can ship one too, doggone him. Hey. Hey, come on. Maybe you busted something. Ah, oh, well, the heck with it. Come on, drag him out of here. wrong with you? Oh, I'm going to have to take your word for that. What's this all about? You're in jail. What for? What, what's going on? You be quiet. What am I doing in here? Don't you know? I haven't got any idea. You hear me? I've got a right to know what's going on. Right? I guess not. That goes for you too, Doc. Look, you can't just throw a man in jail for no reason. Let him rest a bit. I'll tell you frankly, I don't approve of any of this. Who's in charge? I want to talk to somebody! What's your name? Let's see you're eating up with curiosity. So I'll tell you. Mine's candy. What's going on? My head hurts. Well, that gives us something else in common, friend, because so does mine. 
Mine hurts worse than yours. You can't be sure of that. Uh, there's, there's black spots in front of my eyes. So do I, when I stand up. Well, I got them lying down, and there's these little specks of light. Well, you got me beat. <laughs> hey. You got my sympathies. You got anything to drink? No, partner. They picked me clean. Oh, that dang woman! Oh, blast her anyway! Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I suppose you'll give me some idea what's going on around here. Look, I told you my head aches. It'd be a help to me if you quit, quit tromping around in them nothing boots of yours. about you, friend, but I'm beginning not to like this at all. All right, get in. How long I'm going to be here? Keep quiet. You could tell me. Oh, Lori, I... Hey, what'd you do? Oh, nothing serious. I swear it. Nobody's telling me nothing. Yeah, same here. What cell are you in? Second from the end. Where are you? I don't know. Hey, uh, stick your arm out. Can you see it? Wave it around. How about that? Get that arm back inside. All right, on your feet. Where are you taking me? Let's go. What are you guys going to do to me? Come on, move. Oh. Why did they have to put you in here? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out, Frank. Well, would you just come over here for a minute? Well, come on. I want to know how one man can make so much noise. The boots, 
Mister, if you paid more than a dollar and a quarter for them boots, you got robbed. Oh, all that tromping around ain't helping my headache none. Oh, I plumb forgot. I'm sorry. Do you know what they're up to? Really bothers you, don't it? Yeah. Oh, I think I'll just let you fret on it for a while. That's very kind of you. I heard the whole thing, you know. I've been here since last night. Drunk? Some. <laughs> well, man spends all week slaving to repair boots that ought to be thrown away. He needs a little fun. <laughs> What I heard before they put you in here was purely awful. Awfulest thing I ever heard of. Yeah. What? And it's for me to know and you find out. No, you don't know. Maybe I don't. Then again, maybe I do. Whatever makes you happy, friend. You're next. Come on. Are you in charge here? Ain't he the cool one, Mr. Burnham? If there's anything missing, I want to know who to hold to account. What's your name? Kennedy. People generally call me Candy. Where are you from? Near Virginia City. Wrong way. What are you doing in Stillwater? Business. Kinda. Which way'd you come in? From the south? No, from, uh, from over east to here. Virginia City's down south. I don't know what you're fishing for. If you let me tell my story, maybe I can settle what's bothering you. Explain the money. I work for a man named Cartwright. Ben Cartwright? You know him, Mr. Burnham? I've heard of him. Well, Mr. Cartwright and his two sons and myself are taking a, a swing through here to look at breeding stock. A uh, day before yesterday, Mr. Cartwright sent me over to Big Fork to uh, collect some money owing him, a man named Sam Whalen. That's it, right there, $400. I left there yesterday afternoon to come on over here. I'm supposed to meet Mr. Cartwright at the hotel. What time did you get in today? Around noon. Came straight over from Big Fork. That's right. Where'd you spend the night? It's about 20 miles out. It's a, it's a little spring. By yourself? Mm-hmm. You sure you didn't swing down around south here this morning? Dead sure, I came right straight in. Anybody back you up on this? I, I don't know. You talked to anybody? Yes, yes. There was a uh, one fella, an old man. When was this? About mid-morning. The place was about uh, six, eight miles east of here. What was his name? Haynes, Baines, something like that. Praise be. Praise be. All right. Let's just try to take it easy, Mr. Burnham. What's going on? Oh, Harry, I think my prayers have been answered. It's starting to look that way. What's he talking about? That's what he's talking about right here. Well, money's money. Didn't tell me much. Where'd you get?
get this? I told you. Tell me again. I collected it from Sam Whalen. It's owing to Mr. Cartwright. It's Whalen. He knew you were coming for him? That's right. A funny way to do business, wouldn't you say? It seemed all right to me. This amount of money. Men generally use a check, bank draft. That's what I was expecting. That's the way Sam wanted to do it. I don't like carrying that much cash around with me. Must have broke your heart. It was Saturday. There was no way to get a bank draft. I, I bought the money belt. There's no paper in any of this stuff to indicate such a deal? Why should there be? I gave Sam a receipt. He gave me the money. I don't need a paper. If you don't believe me, ask Sam Whalen. He's in big part. We got you here. Look, Mr. Cartwright can vouch for me. He's probably at the hotel right now. From what you say, he hasn't seen you for two days. He doesn't know what you've been up to. Who was with you? Nobody. That no point in line, boy. We know you were there. Where? Where? Look, I don't know what you want. If you just tell me what you're after, I know I can straighten it out. Well, that's the idea, son. I spent a lot of years questioning people. You never tell them how much you know. It makes it a little harder for them to trim their story. What'd you do with the rest of the money? I didn't have any other money. That's Steve's bunch. Partner guy? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't have a partner. How do you explain the horse? One horse! Horse you left over delivery stable. <laughs> oh, well, didn't think we knew about that, did you? Recognizing? No, well, am I supposed to? Where'd you find him? Thrown down that old wash. As soon as he saw us, he took off high tail. I mean, what's your name? I'm John Ferson. Throw him in back. Search him. Good. <clears throat> How you fellas doing, Louis? Well, looks right. like we hit Peter. You work for this Ben Cartwright? That's right. How come you to bring in a horse with a honeycomb brand? First thing this morning, my horse threw a shoe. I took it easy on him, but he, he pulled up lame, so I walked him over to this ranch. That's where I met the old man. I swapped him my horse and a buck fifty for one of his. A prudent man in a strange country would have got a bill of sale. Well, it didn't seem called for. The money was, was kind of a good faith thing anyway. If Mr. Cartwright had the time, I thought to go back in the morning and then get my own horse back. You can go ask the old man. No. Your boy up to taking a look at him. You'll have to be. I want this cleared up. I'll go over to the dock and get him. Can you, uh, can you please send somebody to the hotel to see if Mr. Cartwright's in yet? Uh-uh. He'll come looking for me. Now listen. We're not going to have any outside meddling right now. Could you see, I passed the word. Get him out of here. Probably checked in earlier today. No, sir. Uh, young fellow, name's Candy. You're the first today. Must have made better time we figure. The rooms are right at the top of the stairs. Yeah, you could have been going. Thank you. Man and boy, I have been making boots for 30 years. I am the best bootmaker this side of the Mississippi. Lonnie Stern is my name. You've uh, probably heard of me. No, no. Can't say that I have. 
Well, everybody'd know me if folks around here bought my new boots instead of wearing their old ones until they split and they pull them on and they go all the way up their knees. It's enough to make a body reach for a bottle. Hey, you sure you ain't got one stashed on you? No, no, I can't help you. Well, I told you my name. Oh, what'd you say yours was? Hmm? Oh, candy, candy. That ain't no name for a man. I don't know. It taught me how to fight. <laughs> you take my name, Alani. You won't find that on no horse or no lap dog or... Woman, you don't have to enlarge on it. You had to mention it, didn't you? Mention what? Woman. Makes me think of my wife, and she's the one who put me here. You know, uh, last night, I got home, and we had some words about me drinking, and I had to cuff her a couple of times, you know, just... <laughs> well, she carried on something fierce, but there wasn't no need. <laughs> Women can be difficult. Are you married? <laughs> no, no. Well, don't make out that you know something about it, because you don't. <laughs> She never done nothing like that before. Well, heck, this time when I... <laughs> well, she hardly even lost her balance. <laughs> hey, would you settle down? You're making me uneasy. All right, I will, if you tell me what's going on here. Well, do you mean why they're putting people in jail and all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. All right, all right, now just sit right down. And then I will tell you. been going on for a couple, three hours, you know. Yeah. Tromping around and yelling and riding off. Why? Confound it, why, why? What started it? I was just funning you before. I don't know. There's nothing like a good laugh to brighten the day. Exactly. On your feet. Peter, you take a good look at him. I don't know. Sure. The boy ought to hear him say something. Yeah. What's your name? Burn Crandall. I want you to say this. Go fetch that Jimmy John of coal oil. Well, what for? Just repeat it. I want you to go on and fetch that Jimmy John of coal oil. Do you recognize the voice, son? Have you seen this man before? I think so. Maybe. I don't know, Pa. Take him out to the office and we'll go over him again. What about this one? Yeah, I think so. Peter, are you sure? Now, son, son, I'll just hold on a little longer. Then you can go back and lie down. Hmm? All right, son. Is this the man you saw today? Yeah. This is very important, Pete. We can't afford to have a mistake. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's just leave him alone for a bit. Don't worry, Mr. Burnham. We got friends. We'll be taken care of. Don't worry. I promise.
take a look around. I'll sign it. Hmm. You feel better? You bet. After scrubbing a couple acres with dirt off of me. Has there been any messages for me? No, sir. Hey, like candy? No, no, no. You sure? Positive. Can I see the register, please? I wouldn't forget a name like Candy. It's not in here. I'll just take a look for myself. You can take my word for it, can't you? Turn it loose. There's no Candy. You won't find it. This person to register was 10 days ago. Looks like this page has been torn out. Why? <laughs> fella spilled ink on it. Be. I never heard of him. Hey, I'm sorry. I tried funning with you. You know, I'm teasing you. It's all right. It's all right. Now, would you tell me what you done? Nothing. Do you know a man named Baines or Haynes? Old man. Oh. Old man Haynes. Uh, he's Burnham's father-in-law. Helps run Burnham's ranch. Then, uh, then that was Burnham's ranch I was on this morning. I, I, uh, I swapped a horse with, uh, with old man Haynes about 10 o'clock. But the boy pointed you out. Yeah, he must have seen me while I was there. I don't know. That, that poor boy, he, oh. he doesn't know what he's saying. Oh. All right, uh, come on. Uh, was it something dreadful? I, I won't tell him. Will you let it drop? Will you let it drop? All right, all right. Never seen such a mean-spirited man. I'll be glad to get away from you. Hey, they're gonna let you out of here pretty soon? I expect so. Sheriff knows that I'm easy to get along with when I'm sober. Look, when you get out, I want you to go to the hotel. I want you to find a man named Ben Cartwright. I want you to tell him where I am. Why should I? He'll give you some money. Oh. Too much harm. What I'd done. Done what? Saying I saw you up on Burham's place with another fella this morning. But you didn't. I was alone. I had to. I shot one of Burnham's calves for meat, for pot meat. That's ten years. Yeah. They said they just forget it if I help them. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Vern, sure. An uncommon name like that. If I'd have heard it, it'd have stuck. No? No, he ain't been here. Just don't understand it. Well, he's just the three horses in today, the ones he brought. Is there any other stable in town? No. Well, that's the one and only. Hey, whose horse is this? It ain't got your stable to brand on. Well, that's Mr. Burnham's honeycomb brand. He's a regular customer. When I said uh, only the three horses come in, I meant the horses I didn't know. Ah! Candy saddle. You're mistaken, mister. That's mine. Take a left stirrup, see the neck? Yeah. Candy, there ain't no question about it. Like a lot of saddles have nicks all over them. It's a strange place to keep a saddle down there. Look, I'll keep it anywhere I want to. Now, uh, I'm closing up.
Did you hear that? Hear what? The voices. I didn't hear nothing. I'm sobered up. Now, this page to our hotel register, that's the one your friend wrote his name on, huh? Well, we think so, yes. And his saddle was found in the livery stable, hidden under some straw in a box stall. His? Yes. How do you know that? Was it got his name on it someplace? No, it doesn't have his name on it, but there was a nick in the stirrup leather which we all recognized. Well, all right. Let's have his description now. Uh, how tall? <laughs> You think you'll get out before dark? I generally do. You be sure you go straight to Mr. Cartwright now. Uh -huh. Tell him I said to give you twenty dollars. That much, huh? Can you remember the name? Oh, sure, sure. You better tell me yours again. See this candy fella around any place while well, I tell him you're over at the hotel. Well, that's all you're going to do? Well, that's all I can do. Well, you can talk to the hotel clerk. Well, you've already done that. You didn't find out anything. Well, talk to the fellow at the livery stable. Now, we know that's candy saddle. I'm not going to arrest a man for tearing a page out of his own book. But that saddle is probably a hundred of them around. Got nicks in them one place or another. Your friend is probably going to show up any minute now and wonder why you fellas are making such a fuss about him. Oh, don't worry, fellas. He'll show up. He'll show up. I appreciate that, Harry. I don't want interference any more than you do. Why don't we get this uh, candy back in here and really bear down on him? Yep. Yeah, may as well let Lonnie out, too. We ought to be sober by now. Nobody leaving admit seeing him. He's got to be around here someplace. Yeah, page tour out of the hotel registry. Saddle hidden over there in the livery stable. Well, he didn't ride out of town bareback either. I know of a lot of places we haven't looked. Come on. <laughs> said everything I'm going to say. Well, the survivors identified you, boy. We got a witness back there that saw you and your partner within two miles of Mr. Burnham's place just a few minutes after the... Killings. Go ahead and use the word. It would be a lot better for you if he was to tell us the whole story. Where's the money? Who's your partner? I can't help you. I think I ought to tell you, son, Mr. Burnham here has got his heart set on a confession. I don't have a lot of faith in courts, mister. But you are not going into one without a confession. Signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm not going to say another word until I see Mr. Cartwright. Open up! Open you up!
luck. You? No. Where's Joe? He's at the freight yards out on the edge of town. I've been down every street and alley in this town, talked to everybody I could meet. There ain't many out, but nothing. Yeah, same with me. Well, Candy's in trouble. Wherever he is, we're gonna have to find him. Hold it. Let's put him in here. Easier to feed him. They worked you over pretty good. Uh, yeah. Have they gone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put on an act for them, huh? A little. They get rough enough, they can make a man talk himself blue in the face. You say anything? Just out every now and then. <laughs> My name is John Ferson. My name's Candy. None of them knows what he's doing. Temporary deputies. Ah, that's about what I figured. Nobody will tell me why. A couple of fellas robbed Burnham's ranch this morning. Killed his wife and her father. Then burned the place down around them. No wonder they're so stirred. How come you know about it? One of the fellas picked me up this morning, told me. Oh. I uh, kind of got the idea that that sheriff was a bear on everybody being closed mouthed. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess he didn't uh, get to everybody. Yeah, I guess not. Nothing? No. Well, I guess we'll wait until morning. Let's go in. you over again. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Don't have to be. They missed it when they searched me. I figured I'd jump them when they bring some food around. I could use some help. If you're game. Locked up in jail right here. All right. And he's going to stay locked up. On what charge? Robbery, arson, and two murders. Oh, that's a pack of nonsense. What's this all about? Doesn't concern you. Oh, yes, it does concern us. Candy works for us. And we want to talk to him. Not while I'm still investigating, mister. And when that's done, he can talk to anybody he wants to, not before. What about bail? Judge is writing in on Monday. You can see him about bail. Be a waste, though. He's not going to set bail, not for murder. Look, Candy has a right... right. You may carry a lot of weight back home, but around here, you're just another loud noise. I'm busy. You hamper me in any way, I'm liable to toss you in jail. Is there any lawyer in this town? Yeah, Ed Phipps. But if you're gonna catch him sober, you better hurry. He starts drinking around noon. <laughs> Wait a minute. That knife in your boot, 
Mister was very convenient, and I'm very suspicious. You're going first. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, Major. Jim. Jim. Jim, it's me, Johnny. Jim, it's me, Johnny. one of your killers. This is the other one. He's ready to talk. Everything's there. It's all cleared up now. Jim's owned up to it, where he hid money, everything. I, I've known Jim Hale half my life. I, I trusted him. Well, turned out all right. The uh, right men in jail, nobody hurt. I guess you fellas be heading on back down south. Yeah. Yes, just as soon as you've given him everything you own. Excuse me? An apology. Oh, well, of course. That goes without saying. I'm real sorry, son. All right. Well, boy, I, you can understand how it is. I'll try. But don't you count on it. The law presumes a man to be innocent until proven guilty. 
Had you gone along with that, you wouldn't have to apologize. Thank you.